Uh, welcome to another session of uh, Wing Chun Kun. Um, recently, I was just uh, surfing the net and I kind of got itchy and I saw an ad. Uh, it's a site that I go to uh, all the time. I've bought the swords from them before. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm uh, not giving the sword a review, but it's just telling you what I did. And uh, there was a 15% off, so uh, I bought this sword. Um, what it is is a, a longer a Tai Chi sword. This is a double-handed Tai Chi sword where this is uh, single-handed. Uh, as you can see, the handle is uh, much longer um, for you to use uh, in a two-handed situation. And uh, the uh, length of the, the sword, the blade, is... Uh, I can't really show you this camera, can't really see, but if... Uh, if I were to hold them like this and flip them backwards, this is how much longer the sword is. So uh, this is uh, comes out to be around 30 inches long on the blade, and uh, this one is 40 inches long. So uh, this will give you um, stronger uh, slashes and longer reach, uh, and uh, overall just a, 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 a bigger, stronger weapon. Um, although you, there's a trade-off, uh, obviously, um, they say that if, uh, if a sword is short, you're going to be uh, more skillful because it's easy to manipulate. Um, and if, uh, if it's longer, uh, although when it's short, you're going to lose on reach and strength. When it's longer, you're going to gain on reach and strength, but you're going to lose on maneuverability. And then you're going to be a little slower. So uh, that would be the trade-off. So uh, this is uh, uh, pretty well made. Uh, it's made in pretty much um, almost the same construction as the other sword. Uh, it's a very sturdy sword. These are not swords for chopping. Um, they're not sharpened. Uh, probably is a stainless steel blade. And uh, it's not for chopping. It's more for practicing your forms and so on because uh, chances are you, you're not really going to use it for chopping so uh, it, it doesn't make sense to pay for a sword um, that has a, a combat steel ready because you're going to pay double the price so uh, in this case uh, it works for what it is and uh, it's a, a, a very good instrument um, it's going to take me a while to learn um, with these swords uh, double handed swords uh, you're not going to be always permanently holding it with two hands um you could switch in between uh certain moves you could rotate into a double hand and then certain moves you can you can use it into a single hand and then a double hand again and it's not uh, written in stone that because it's a double hand the sword that that uh, 24 7 you have to hold it in a, a two-handed way there are some moves that you can, if you could afford to, but you could let go in one hand and then uh, use it as a one hand for like half a rotation and then grab it back as a two-handed again. So it, it's more of a versatile sword and uh, I have a lot of fun with it. And uh, here are uh, some uh, videos uh, as to uh, how I'm uh, goofing around with the sword and you would see that it's a lot of fun.
Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.